Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Granada, where we last left our nation. We were preparing for war with Portugal. Couldn't get a claim there. I'll make it cheaper. Offers. No, we want prestige. So they're building a bunch of troops. I don't know if that's because their army died. Let's take a look. 33,000. Yeah, they're buying a bunch of mercs. I don't want to attack them while they're using that many mercs. They're still making more. In a stream of mercs up there. Buddy up their allies just a little bit more. Okay. I mean, if they bring those guys home and disband their mercs, then that'd be our green light to hit them. Uh, we're losing a little bit of cash. This colony is almost done. Accumulate money. We'll try. Okay, let's. Wow. Piche integrated them in. Good. To close that off. Let's keep an eye on these trip counts. 31,000. So they're losing all their non merc troops. Possibly in a siege. Not monarch points. I wonder if France even has an army. Take a look. 14,000 troops. Controls to 29,000. Yeah, I'm hoping they come back home and disband all the mercs as soon as this war is over. Then we attack Mapuche. And wipe out whatever's left of the army. We have 12k real troops. K rail troops. Yeah, if we wipe that out, those two might ally each other. Four big ships, though. That's kind of scary. Uh, we can get manpower. Can't quite get the military support yet. I should have given them a little bit more influence first. Jump the gun there. What are you doing with all those marks?
and we could potentially wipe these guys out. I'm going to see if they'll get rid of some of those troops. Not yet. Yeah, that's fine, because their troops will have to kill those if they want to occupy it. I'm comfortable with that. Okay, so they just hit tech 16. So their morale just dropped. They really afford all those mercs? Okay, let's see what would happen. Portugal would come in. Morocco would as soon as the war reached Europe. Let's go ahead. Okay, so let's leave this guy behind. Chase him up there, try to get a stack wipe. Okay. Don't line at me. It's not even their time to be fed. A better diplotic. Occupy this stuff. They do have mercs. Rock. We like to join them. Would not is a distant war, even though it's not a distant war. So they got three big ships over here. I'll try to kill these guys first. These guys down here. Push them up here. And it's good that we have their fleet split up. I'd love to be able to kill those guys, but we'll wait until we try to smash some of this fleet. Then we'll land over here and try to kill those three big ships. Let's get these guys back into our territory. Though, so, them looting over here is always fun. Okay, I can see that they've got a fleet here. Savoy is the emperor. Okay, so Castile hasn't taken a side here yet. I'm hoping that they take the opposite side of England and lose that alliance.
Ugh. This is legitimacy, I guess. Let's continue improving relations with our allies. So uh, some of those ships leave. Three big ships have clearly left. Probably merging up their other fleet. Uh, if we can kill these, then we should have a stronger navy than them. Failed. That's okay. Took a steel spying on us. Shame on them. I'm hoping that they have some rebel problems. Oof. Their fleet is much better than ours. Scary strong compared to ours. I mean, it's because their ideas and the fact that they're caught up to date on naval tech. Yeah, they got quality finished, so that's helping their ships. And then they're at 16, so they're 5 Diplotech ahead of us. Yeah, it's probably not a great idea to fight their, fight their big ships. Okay, Portugal's got medium. Oh, their fleet's coming in. That's probably bringing troops. Nope, it's not. We'll just avoid it. Let them suffer attrition. They can blockade our stuff if they want. Yeah, let's get some cash. Sure, mirrors. Get, get some military points. They'll get over that pretty quickly. And we're going to work on our ideas. Okay. Thank you, Morocco. Let's go for war score costs against other religions, as we're doing that right now. And let's get a blockade temporarily, because that's a huge bump due to our blockade impact on Siege plus one. Okay, we're wrecking up this time. Oh, did we lose two more light ships? We did. Wow. Uh, Diplotechost? Yeah. Okay, so Portugal's enthusiasm is low. Let's go ahead and call this guy back and try to peace out Portugal. 
Yeah, France is just gonna die. Okay, so... Portugal, you're not allowed to be allied to them. You should give us that. That. Let's move your ducats. Unless you'd like to give us that instead, but no. Just a few ducats. Okay. I'll let you get away with just a few ducats. And we'll state those up. And give that. Uh, to the demi. Okay, I'm curious how much money they have. 800 ducats. Yeah, we definitely went to repair for two months. And start dropping some trips off. And 7,000. So we will have to put a real army up here. We'll just move down here. Get the war goal. Hopefully get that. Charge show. Let's see how much money they have. Not much. Yeah, they're spreading out troops over there. Let's get an army over there to kill off some of those guys before they before they take all the ports. They have any ships? I don't have any ships. Let's stop ourselves here. Because I'm doing this inefficiently. These guys are slowing us down. Let's get them back over here. These guys need to be protecting trade. These guys need to be protecting trade. And then these guys can... this over here. Okay, we're gonna take more of the coast, and we're gonna grab some more troops, because we're gonna need our whole army. As long as that truce can last with Portugal and yours. Okay. And there's a second shipment of troops. Keep them there for another day. Let the ships repair. And down to Rio. Oh, they've got a lot of troops here. Hopefully they're a little passive. Yeah, looks like they are. I guess we'll keep them next to each other for now. Wait a few days so that they repair. And 
And their enthusiasm is already dropping before we're attacking their stuff. Let's get that. I don't think it'll take much effort once we have our whole army down there to be able to knock them out of war. Yeah, I'm surprised that this is still manageable after all of the things that went wrong. I mean, this has not been a smooth run. Okay, let's start getting some spy power down here. Actually, send him there and there. Just to control attrition. Okay, we'll suffer some attrition going through the wilderness down there in the big stack. Well, maybe we should send two armies in. Okay, this one's going there. And he'll take a slightly different route. There. Mares will like us again. Our prestige took a hit. Go ahead and do that. The admin points. Send them cash. We gotta get caught up on deck. And finish some ideas, because we need this manpower guy as well. And they did happen to end up in the same province at the same time. That's unfortunate. But at least half of the route they didn't. Hey, okay, let's... We're going to have to manually do it, otherwise it's just going to bounce us all over the world. That's going to work That's going to redeem me. And somebody wants influence and mirrors. Well, you should stop taking development from your provinces then. I don't have anything to give them. We can move now. There you go, mirrors. Behave yourself for a while. And grab the wargle. Then we just need to capture a fort, and we could piece them out for their cash. It's dangerous because there is a mountain fort. And yeah. Okay, who's got the best siege? This guy's got the best maneuver, so he'll take less attrition. We're gonna move the cannon. Okay, the cannon. We only have one cannon, and it's with the right guy. Uh, I don't want to spend our military points on that. Although, it will help our manpower. Yeah, we have to do it. Portugal's attacking Charcha, which ends... Uh, 
Well, that lion's broke down. Uh, they only had like a hundred ducats, so... Maybe I should try vassalizing them. That way I can call in all of my allies to beat up on Portugal again. Because that would be hilarious. I think everyone would appreciate that. Okay, so their armies are over here. They got their alliance with the papacy back. And then... Okay, so let's see how much war score we would need to vassalize them. 41, so that's not even an option. We'll just plant troops there and see if they'll be so. How much cash do they have? 86 ducats, and that's not even worth it. Come on. I mean, if we bust the walls and take it, they'll take their money. Wrong. Oh. I'm not going to go out of my way. And surrender. Enjoy their pass bonuses. Sure. Afford this guy? Yeah, we can. Let's go for land maintenance modifier for now. So he'll hopefully pay for himself or come close to it. Come close to it. Okay, that should be good. Might be able to peace. Wow, we really not a great piece. Huh? Now I'm glad I attacked you because you guys are clearly warmongers. At this point, we might as well just wait and take all their money. Not going to move on to that mountain fort, though. I will split up. Yeah. Let's put the troops and just siege that out. Loot. Eighty-seven. Molly's great power. Wow. There we are. You should give us your money and war reparations. We'll do that for a little bit of prestige. These are exiled, so just march them all back up here. This is causing some war exhaustion, so I don't like that. And our oh, ships are doing fine. Supply. Nice. We'll renew that. Let's just 
get our cash, get our war operations, and all treaties with Portugal. And we can do that, but it costs us diplo points, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, so we got cash. Let's keep an eye on our time. 30 minutes, exactly. So I think I'm going to stop here. Thank you.